everyone. Today is the first day of Sunday school, and I hope everyone is excited for this new year. Does anyone know the name of your textbook? That's right, Glory to God. Let's see how we can give glory to God. To glorify, know, and love someone, we must know more about the person first. Don't you think so? Yes, only then we can love them and be with them. So, who is God? Well, God is a creator. He created the sun, the moon, the sky, and everything. And finally, he created man. He created man in his own image and likeness. Does anyone know who our first parents are? Correct. They're Adam and Eve. God created everything, and everything God created was good. God is our loving Father, too. God gives us everything. God protects us. So we can glorify God, our Creator, and loving Father, by praising Him in our prayers. Can you see God with your eyes? Okay, we cannot see God in person. Then how do we talk to Him? That's right, through prayer. So what is prayer? Prayer is a personal talk between you and God. When we pray, we talk to our Father and glorify Him. Jesus told us to talk to God from our heart. You can talk to God about anything and everything, and that too at any time. Praise Him! making the sign of the cross. Why do we make the sign of cross? Jesus died for us on the cross because he loved us. By the sacrifice of Jesus, we became the children of God. By making the sign of the cross, we receive blessings from God. Why is making the sign of the cross important? Cross is a sign of love and salvation. By making sign of the cross, we glorify God. Let us learn to make the sign of the cross. I want you all to follow me so that we can learn it step by step, in order and in a fun way. Take your right hand and wave it. Now make sure that's your right hand. Is it your right hand? Great. Now take your thumb, first and second finger together. This represents the Holy Trinity. Trinity means the union of three persons. So let's see who are these three people who make the Holy Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. All of these are three persons in one God. So, we have our thumb for God or Father, the index finger for God the Son, 
and the middle finger for God the Holy Spirit. Now, the index finger is placed slightly above of the other two fingers. This represents the two natures of Jesus Christ, both fully human and fully divine. So let's practice making the sign of the cross following the one, two, three, four rule. With the right hands in this position, let us try making the sign of the cross. So how do we recite and make the sign of the cross? Shall we give it a good try and learn together? One, you say glory be to the Father, touching the forehead. Two, you say and to the Son, while moving your hand to the center of your chest. Three, we move our hand to our left shoulder, saying and to the. Four, to the right shoulder, saying Holy Spirit. Finally, we bow our head in reverence with folded hands, saying Amen. Now you learned how to make the sign of the cross, right? So let's pray together. Glory be to the Father, glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as it was in the beginning, is now, is now, and ever shall be, and ever shall be, the world without end. The world without end. Amen. Amen. Now let's do it together. Glory be <laughs> to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Let us sing aloud together as a choir to worship and glorify the cross of love and salvation. When we make the sign of cross, Hold the three fingers together, the thumb represents God the Father, index finger God the Son, and middle finger Holy Spirit, together represents Holy Trinity. Now let's make the sign of cross, three fingers on my right hand, together on my forehead. From there move down to my chest, then to the shoulder on my left. From there to the right move slowly, bring both hands together, just like we pray. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be the world without end amen now after sunday school we should make the sign of the cross whenever we pray when we make the sign of the cross we should make it attentively and devoutly now it's time to memorize the Bible verse of the day. The Bible verse is 1 John 4, 8. Again, it's 1 John 4, 8. God is love. Today's memory verse. God is love. First John four eight.
Now let's do a quick review. So who created us? I know you know the answer for that one. Now who is God? You guys know this. I, it's on the tip of your tongue. How many persons are in the Holy Trinity? Think, 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 think. Who are the three persons in the Holy Trinity? Now that's easy. How do we make the sign of the cross? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. A cross is a sign of blank and blank. You know that. This week's assignment is to draw a cross, color it, and label it the way you would make the sign of the cross. Goodbye, my first graders. Don't forget to make the sign of the cross during your prayers and the Holy Carbono. See you next week. Bye.